we're going to continue on with looking at the customize section of Countersketch and we're going to look at some of the advanced features. This is one of my models and it's one of the newer models in the Countersketch library and as a result it has a matching wedding band that you can show or not depending on what your customer is interested in. To access the wedding bands you look at the top row of Countersketch and you will see the main ring with a check mark beside it and then you'll see band 1. In order to show the band simply click in this radio box and the wedding band will appear. Now the nice thing about the wedding bands is that they're linked parametrically and they will adjust as you adjust the styling in the main ring. There are also some detailed controls in the wedding band that you can change. For instance, in this matching band, we see that once we've clicked on it, it opens up a whole section of controls in the stack. And we'll go down to the matching gems, and perhaps your customer is interested in just a plain fitted band. And by clicking the gems on and off, we can show that band without the channel of uh, small diamonds. I'm going to turn the band off for now and I'm going to show you a feature which is advanced but it is a very nice tool. In order to demonstrate it we will also turn the diamonds off in this ring. Now within Countersketch you often have many different profile shapes and it may not be necessary for you to create a new one but you should be aware that you can edit all of these shapes and create some very unique and distinctive designs. To do that we will select a current profile. This is the shank top profile shape and we will go over to this little radio box here and click on it to open this window and it says edit a copy of the current profile. That's the best choice because then you can always go back to the first one. So we'll click on that and you will see this edit window pops up. Now what I'm going to do is just work on these top three points and pull them down a little bit and then I'm going to take this center one and pop it up a little bit to create a little bit of a ridge or a flute in the shank. So we've added that and then we'll go down and we'll do the side profile and we'll edit it in just the same way. And you'll notice that we have the mirror sweep points and mirror curve on. That means we only have to work on one side of the profile and uh, the other side will automatically keep up. And immediately you can see what's happening here. We have the fluted section running right down the side of the ring and that's made a very nice change to the overall look. Now it's important when you're working through a design and you create some new changes in the model that you like and you think that uh, you may want to come back to go over to the portfolio section which we have created for Mrs. Jones and just click the job bag and put the work in the job bag. This means that at any future time you can reopen Mrs. Jones's portfolio and this particular model will be there. Now let's work ahead with the appearance of this ring and let's talk a bit about this section over here. What this allows you to do is to assign materials and the first and most obvious one is to change the metal color. And we have a choice here of yellow which we've just clicked on and made the entire ring yellow. The white which is the default value that the model will appear in or this nice rose gold color. Now many models will have options for two-tone as well however this particular model will be a one-piece casting so we're going to leave it in the yellow and the next thing that we're going to consider is changing the center stone. Perhaps this isn't going to be a diamond ring at all but perhaps uh, a nice amethyst. Well the center gem colors are all listed here and it just takes a click and there you have this ring set with a, a lovely amethyst color. Here you can select which finger of the hand you would like the ring to appear on. Just by moving over you'll see a, a little ring icon show up and then you would click and then you can select 
a skin tone which is similar to your customers by clicking and then a nail color similar to what she's wearing and then all that's necessary is to click the try on and in a second or two the entire ring will be shown on a customer's hand. Here again you can look at this from all angles and you can even do a photorealistic render of the ring on your customer's finger. And when you're done looking in that view you can turn the hand off once again Use this icon here to center the design and then we'll proceed on and we'll set a ground plane. Now most often you would use white but there are many choices. There's some lovely wood colors and some nice fabric, stone, uh, some graduated backgrounds and so on. You should experiment with these and get a feel for what they're like. These are the environment tabs. This will give you a lighting environment which is very similar to what your, the ring would look like if it was photographed inside a camera box. We'll just set the ring up nicely in a good size at about a three-quarter view with the environment and the white ground plane. And the last thing to choose is the render size. We'll choose the 800 by 600 size and then we'll click render and CounterSketch will do all the challenging hard work of setting up the V-Ray environment and ground plane and lighting and materials and in just a few more seconds it will run through and create a lovely photorealistic render of that ring ready for you to show your customer on the screen or save or send as an email to her and it gives you access to professional rendering with very little effort.